we've been having comments of, you know, yes, of course, of my practices and so on and so forth. But I think in practical terms, um, politics is not a church event. <laughs> <laughs> that much I would tell you. <laughs> I must give kudos to this man. Most people know that I didn't support his aspiration. That is the truth. But I must give kudos to him because you remember I always call him the Professor Emeritus of Politics. Uh, I never gave him a chance from the beginning. Most people didn't. And lo and behold, we didn't, he didn't catch our attention until he won the primaries. And in spite of all the Bella Blue and all these things, whatever, he kept going on doggedly. In fact, I had reason to even confront some of his aides to say, why are you wicked to this man? He doesn't seem to have the strength and whatever. But how he went through that campaign, I honestly don't know. Mm. Because he came into the campaign virtually looking like frail and whatever. But he was the most visible during the campaign. You can't take that from him. I, I, I feel pain for our people, though, um, because there is enough evidence to show uh, that that um, I don't know whether those numbers are in the majority, but that a lot of people were looking forward to a significant shift and change. But then democracy is about the highest numbers, whichever way, whichever way it comes. So I'd like to congratulate. I sure you, you know, he, he's put up a very big fight. He surprised a lot of us. Yeah. Uh, but that it is, is, is your president-elect. Mm -hmm. My plea with everybody is to stay calm. Mm -hmm. um, just stay calm. Don't get involved in violence. You can keep up the struggle if you think it's worth it. You can keep up the struggle. But for those of us who have been through these times without number, 